you are listening to KSJ podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants in this podcast we are going to talk about 5g and flight safety source for the content is mika meidenberg's article for the wall street journal the roll out of a new 5g wireless internet service has gotten hung up because of a tussle about risk to cockpit equipment in airplanes following delays verizon communications inc and at&t inc plan to start offering the service this month Telecom companies were supposed to roll out a new faster wireless internet service in early December. The plan hit some hurdles after air safety regulators prepared to impose disruptive flight restrictions because they said their 5G service could potentially pose risks to cockpit equipment in aircraft. The telecom industry disputes the service would create any hazards. At issue is whether the new 5G signals affect aircraft equipment that helps planes land in difficult weather conditions and avoid crashes. The equipment called radar or radio altimeters uses radio frequencies to measure the distance between aircraft and the ground. Aviation officials worry the cellular frequencies that telecom companies plan to activate could interfere with altimeters, potentially throwing off readings the devices take and endangering planes. The 5G service will operate in a frequency known as the C-band, which is a close to the airwaves the altimeters use. Telecom industry representatives say connections over the C band won't interfere with cockpit devices, citing Federal Communications Commission technical experts and analysis by other regulators around the world. The FAA has said it is taking steps to ensure aircraft do not operate in what it considers to be an unsafe situation because of the 5G service. The point of its restrictions on aircraft using certain radar altimeters, the agency has said, is to make sure the devices are not potentially impaired. Telecom industry representatives say signals over the C band won't cause harmful interference to cockpit devices. They have pointed to the fact that the US included a buffer band to separate the new 5G signals from those used by radar altimeters. Now, does the new 5G service only affect commercial flights? Well, no. Helicopters and private planes also rely on altimeters. Some law enforcement and fire service helicopters could be grounded if the new 5G services are switched on, according to the Helicopter Association International, that is a trade group. The FAA has approved an exemption allowing air ambulances to keep flying, removing the requirement for them to rely on altimeters. Helicopters typically have more diverse flight paths than planes and fly more slowly, exposing them to more cell towers and longer bursts of potential interference, radar engineers and manufacturers said. Private planes and helicopters use a far larger number of airports and takeoff and landing sites than commercial planes. Airports Council International, North America, another trade group, has called for the 5G rollout to be delayed until what it referred to as sufficient mitigations are in place to keep flying safe. So how big a deal is 5G for the telecom industry? Fifth generation cellular technology is substantially faster than previous services, easing activities like downloading software and streaming video. Such links are already available in parts of the US from Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile US Inc. in several spectrum bands. Coverage isn't uniform, and AT&T and Verizon in particular need more frequencies to keep their networks from becoming congested. Verizon, for example, paid $45.5 billion for its C-band licenses and plans to use them to offer more 5G service for mobile customers and provide home internet links in some areas where cable broadband is not available or costs too much. Now, how are other countries handling this issue? Other countries have allowed telecom companies to offer wireless services around similar frequencies, though with some restrictions in place. For example, France has limits on 5G operations at almost 20 airports where pilots have less visibility during landings, while regulators in other countries have limited power levels for ground stations. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSG in the courses and to crack the ice exam, visit ksgindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksgindia.com and do subscribe to our YouTube channel.